<laughs> happy saturday everyone wherever you're watching me from and of course eugene happy saturday and bunny apple happy saturday for me it's a brunch over here and a big breakfast for me over here join me in my breakfast oh i'm chilling and i thought i should just quickly bring you out for um sharing my um, saturday brunch 21st of september 2019 and it's a good morning for me from wherever you're watching from lena michelle welcome and for me it's just bringing you down here to chill as well to reflect what has your september been like mine's just um chilling i like to take a break as usual and um just watch my saturday oh i love the birds over there you fly like a bird mm. <laughs> yes my breakfast someone is asking me what i'm having for breakfast i'm just having uh bacon as you can see a toast mm -hmm. um it's a big one actually mm -hmm. spoiling myself and um yes just um chilling outside enjoying myself jeff all the way from kenya kishao kishao habargani Eh, you see at upper we have um tuko na ma beaches uku ama english channel unaona watching it from where i am so yes i'm just chilling and it's a beautiful beautiful lovely um day here today and um, what a beautiful way to start the day uh, how is your september everyone we're coming to the end of september and i hope you've made those new goals are you ready to rock for um october if you've not accomplished your september don't forget you've got october write those small steps down write your goals down hello jeff yes i can see you um yes i'll have some um some of this but i'll have it after i've finished my breakfast i'm having a cup of tea yeah sharing those moments um where am i nico <laughs> i'm sitting outside <laughs> i'm sorry sana <laughs> i'm sitting outside uh, nico too i'm just relaxing i love my saturday morning and i thought um somebody said um yesterday they wanted to see me and i said yes i've been in bournemouth um in um Lib Dem conference and i thought i should take some time as well out um i love to refresh i love to renew i love to just chill i love to just get composed and um and take a beautiful break and that's just my way of doing it um coming down here chilling grace lovely to see you i saw you yesterday at uh, the nigerian high commission with um, professor greetings to you uh, sending you all the from here yes it's absolutely wonderful and um, beautiful and yes i love it love it love it later on i should be walking down um um uh, the cliff over there i'm right out, i'm right on top of the cliff actually so i can see the uh, ground um if you can see i don't know if you can see right down there the other side over there i'm told is france this um crosses over uh. <laughs> grace um, continue to enjoy i say continue to be blessed i love being blessed and i thank um our creator um for blessing me mm -hmm. and uh yes so have you written those major goals for this um for next month have you written down your goals for next month have you done so if you have not done so please do so 
those little steps those little major small simple goals will bring you to the end or um, um game of or what you're planning to be i encourage all of you to write something down write it as you can see i'm seated down here i'm going to be writing down thank you so much um grace says it's so beautiful environment yes i like to start my day um with a lovely breakfast um it's a brunch here for me grace just a simple brunch um sometimes i'll wake up and just do some of this as well and it's quite nice actually um just to be seated down here and face the seaside as i love refresh my environment refresh myself um take a break and chill and yes somebody says to me no makeup no actually no i love the breeze just to come down into my face uh, and just to chill really so um um someone is asking me to talk about um how to bring in um goals for october uh that's a good one thank you that's what i was starting to do actually and as we if you've got a pen and paper we can go through it um step by step um what i normally do myself i normally i normally just um I normally just um, reflect and digest what I've done very well during the month. Um, I said my three months are uh, today is um, September, October, November, December. So it's time again for me to set my three months goal. So I will do my short term and I want to know what I'm going to be achieving in October and um, November and December. So you can join me along that. And then you set it up small by uh, a stage by stage, um, and that's a good way to look and tick your um, to-do list. I don't like to wake up every day and I'm doing my to-do list every morning, um, so I tend to do a long one and I tick it as I go along. I get quite um, sort of. Um, frustrated a little bit if I have to wake up every morning and I'm writing down what I'm supposed to do so what I do is I do a long list of all the things that I feel I need to have done between now or for the next three months and while I look at it um, quietly I used to do it in a small paper these days I do it in a book so I can just stick or I can just do it in uh, the computer and then I can just look at it and um, it becomes a very, um, look at this bee here, look at that bee, get out of my, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to fight with this bee, I think it likes my honey over there or marmalade over there, um, I think I'm attracting it, but let's talk about um, the bee over here, you see, you can see how little it is, but you can see it's quite um come on <laughs> get out of my <laughs> well i think i'm attracting the bee here so i will have to finish this breakfast very quickly and uh mm. so mm, I was just um, getting distracted a little bit by that bee. Come on! It likes my food, as you can see. And I've got um, my... Um... Oh, come on. Okay, I'll share it. I'll share with it like that. Let's see whether that pays off. So what I've done is I will watch it eat let's see whether that pays off <laughs> good morning all the way from kenya if you're watching from kenya i welcome you and um from nigeria i welcome you yes i'm fight um <laughs> someone says i'm fighting with a bee <laughs> you know it's quite small actually but you can see we get um um frightened for it to sting you really and um what a beautiful environment over here um, but that reminds me, the tongue is quite small, 
but what comes out of your tongue is quite powerful as well so the tongue does not bite but the tongue can actually say certain things that really um, either will um, support you or will really really aim to say things that are really destructive so let us be careful how we use this um, tongue and I want to encourage every one of you that um, whenever you're um, saying something be an inspirational to someone and bring that love and bring the best of the person so that you're able to support one another um, and that is critical Okupong, how is Nigeria? And Grace Alexandra, lovely to see you um, from where I am seated. Uh, yes, um, thank you, uh, Grace says. Um, I love my breakfast. Uh, yes, for today, yes, I'm enjoying the breakfast and I'll soon finish it. And so, I was talking about um, goal setting. And what is your goals like? Um, you can see people over there sorry people are doing their little walk i'm gonna go for my walk shortly and i love doing this kind of things it renews you i just love doing it and uh, a lot of people sometimes do not know how to um to enjoy you know and bring back and detox oh watch that watch that bed over there i just love simple things and by the way simple things in life are free a lot of people forget that actually um watch that bed over there <clears throat> it's drinking water don't know if you can see it but let me Oh yeah, it flew there. So yeah, I was saying Francisca Grace Zia Fraser, welcome you. Um, I was saying a lot of stuff here. Um, when you learn, a lot of stuff are free actually. And um, a sister boy, can you trust Fino? I love her. She's very inspirational. Um, she does her stretches she um, will always ask um, us to do our stretches and encourages us to renew our energy um, uh, through the beautiful stretches and um, physical exercises and um, don't you just love that uh, Kim Tai Kirui um, it's great to see you yes and um, we can you will um, let you know that um, she will always be very insp inspiring in terms of um, allowing us to refocus our energy to the right thing and thank you sister um, trust um, I love you to bits um, William Mundali a happy birthday to your wife and it's lovely to see you uh, joining me for my breakfast over here so yes so I was saying, have you, how do you set your goals? And if you haven't set up your goals, um, you know, different people, there's no right or wrong way, if I may say so. Sometimes people are thinking too much. How do you do that? But for me, do what you think is best. I think always that sometimes people want to like really overthink it but a, a good way to do it is just don't think too deep just think what would I like to achieve and as soon as you think what you would like to achieve it sets the pace of um, what you really want um, to do uh, the next month and I'm talking about the last few days of September the last few days today is the 21st what is your year like what is your year looking like have you made good progress have you made those good steps that you feel that you would like to do you can be whatever you want to be you can be whatever you like to be and I do like to encourage people to say that and that is um, very very critical 
and if you're following me um you're following me at um african wonder woman and um if you're looking for a coach i'm always available um yes if you're looking for a coach you had me um you can always contact me on 077 423-84052 someone asked me am i a qualified coach yes i am um and also um advocate as well and um look out um for um if you're actually somebody's asking me a very good question um what exactly will i be doing if you'd like to find your true sense of purpose get in touch if you'd like to find your true sense of purpose get in touch with me and i will help you explore those deepest value you sincerely truly want to achieve and that is what i do best if you would like to know what you were born to do yes get in touch and we can sort it all out together um it's never by the way it is always important to get help and every good um person who is successful actually gets a coach a lot of people don't realize but um many many successful people have got a mentor or coach with them and um, that's critical uh, in terms of um, getting somewhere uh, in life Emmanuel said father I welcome you uh, and thanks for joining in um, and those joining in from Nigeria how is Nigeria tell us how Nigeria is Opong tell us how Nigeria is and in Kenya Jeff tell us how Kenya is Kim Tai tell us how Kenya is William tell us how Kenya is and in London Grace tell us how London is um, Lena Marshall welcome Baniabu I know you're doing something for Black History Month tell us what you're doing for Black History Month and thank you again for joining in how is your Saturday everyone mine I think I'm just having enough so I'll pass I think I'll feed the birds over there and just be done with that one. Mm -hmm. So yes, um, any more questions? I'm happy to answer some of the questions. I'm always really, really happy to answer those questions. And um, someone is asking me what I'm doing over here. I'm just relaxing, as you can see. I do love a good um, breeze and just enjoying myself. I love a good breeze and um, and just sitting. Just sitting, somebody says. I mean, how many of you ever just get a chance to sit down and just sit? You know, and it reminds me, actually, uh, I'm going to move into that table in a few minutes. Back home, um, we have a table like that, and I always love to sit at it underneath the tree, and you just chill. And uh, it reminds you the importance of just resting. Um, whenever you rest you were able to um, get beautiful energy and um, I do it hello Steve <laughs> Steve Podmore wonderful wonderful to see you and um, sending you greetings as well wherever you are um, I met um, Steve in a theater and thank you so much for coming um, here I'll show you where I am, Steve. I am just sitting somewhere, somewhere. I'm, I'm enjoying somewhere um, the English channels over there. And I think um, I've always, you know, I've always been here. But lately I just learned uh, that it's also called something along the... The French take pride um, in calling it La Monica. And, um, you know, I've always wanted to understand these um you know the atlantic ocean so this is part of atlantic ocean so for those who don't know uh part of atlantic ocean and we've got indian ocean all the way in kenya as well 
I tend to like I like I like digesting you see I like digesting things I'm just enjoying isn't our creator wonderful you can see so whenever you can see it right down the end there so if you cross over the other side from where I'm sitting we are on the English channel over here which is in London but the other side is France so I just sit down somewhere like here and I look at it all if you've got a telescope it would be nice to see what other people are doing on the other side and I think that's a very beautiful way of just chilling um, yes and it's my Saturday bus news <laughs> yes uh, somebody said what am I having for my that's just um, grapes yeah, I, yesterday I had some pineapples yeah I change it sometimes I have everything and melon oh but um yeah tune in tell me what you like doing on a saturday but for me it's a beautiful beautiful saturday how best to start your saturday and just take a break before everything else goes and um it's always important some people there are running maybe i should also go and do a run and just run and run and run run like you've never run you know like you're just joking and you just joke 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 <laughs> i need to come and do the stretches i know i promised you and i would love to learn how to i i love watching you do your stretches you do it beautifully very insp very inspiring um mm. So yes, thank you Steve, we'll chat soon, it's lovely to see you this and sending you my good morning hug, let's touch base, if you're in London let's touch base soon, sometimes next week or week after, give me a shout, but it's beautiful to see everyone, so yeah we were talking about goal setting, sometimes you feel like oh i haven't achieved everything don't worry once you've written it down it's more easier to look at it and it comes off your head as well and these are simple things that we learn every day but sometimes we don't really or sometimes we just want to do it our own way but i always suggest that um i mean the way i do it personally i was saying i like to write everything um, just I write it down and um, as soon as I've written it all down I um, can tick I can tick and as I sit down here I'm able to reflect what is it I want to be able to have achieved in October and I write October November December so that's three months and then I can look at my list and if I'm not doing too well, then I will know. But I don't have to hit myself very, very hard. Some people will be like, oh my goodness me, I have not achieved that. No, it is writing it. And, 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 and by the way, write, write it very well. You know, you, from your list, you might be able, let's say, for example, if you want to go to uni or whatever you want to do really you know you know what you'd like to achieve and we all have different goals and we all have different things that we want to achieve and we are all having a journey so i always say to people it is you and you it is you and you know what you want to do you are not me so don't try and do what i'm doing because you are not me and you don't know why i'm doing what i'm doing but if you'd like to share your journey and you would like to um be able to get um to discover yourself i'm right here yes and uh, come to my office as well um that would be nice um somebody's just asking me a question there but yes so you are you and if you're you aim to do what you were born to do some people don't know what they were born to do and that's where i come in handy if you do not know what you were born to do please please come down and 
that is what I'm really good at. Um, come in and you will find your true sense of purpose. Come in and we will work together and you will start living your life and stop living other people's lives. Live your life. I am able to help you get to whatever you were born to do. Oh yes, and you can do that with the one and only African Wonder Woman, Juliet Macapilla. So if you would like to find your true sense of purpose, indeed, I'm right there. And come in and you can find your true sense of purpose. And I repeat that again. Your one and only African Wonder Woman. And um, indeed, we have a program for you. And you're able to live your life in a way that you were born to actually flourish. You were born to flourish. You were born to flourish. Every single one of you was born to flourish. You were born to flourish. And I can never say that enough time. You were born to flourish. Every single person of you. You were born to make wealth. It sounds something else whenever I say that. But you know what? You were born to flourish and take it from me. You work your way up and I will show you how. Mm-hmm yes somebody saying to me that oh my goodness that these days i'm enjoying i'm blessed i like to say i'm blessed <laughs> i am blessed and it's also changing your mindset as well a lot of people don't change their mindset and when you don't change your mindset and you're constantly thinking that you have no money if you constantly think you have no money of course you will have no money why should you make money when you think that you don't have money? So I don't like it when people are telling me they don't have no money. So um, claim, claim wealth. You know, in my flat, I have, next time I will show you, I have a prayer actually in my flat that I always say, God, help my creator, bring me my source of wealth. And I think... Whenever you have good wealth, you're able to bless others as well. And the more wealth, and in fact, um, I, will, I will want to suggest that many, many um, people with wealth, they ask to be blessed with more wealth, um, which is good. Um, and for me, that is something that is a blessing as well. So yes, let us um, learn to flourish. Um, use your wealth wisely it's absolutely important don't be wasteful do not look at this beautiful world you know look after look after your planet look at that it's beautiful look after your planet no wastage just just a sense of being just a sense of being and that is important just a sense of being and um, and it reminds us you can see I put that um, for the bee to come and eat with me so now I'll eat this with the birds when I see them fly yeah just a sense of being it's absolutely critical for us to just enjoy a sense of being yes set your goals I want us to learn how to make wealth I want us to learn how to flourish. I want us to be able to know how to flourish and create abundance within ourselves. It's absolutely um, interesting. And by the way, there are certain things that um, sometimes we have to learn how to do. As we progress, in our daily lives there are certain things you have to leave behind as well you know you know sometimes um, people will always ask me how do you do it to eat and I'm always careful how I answer such question because the question one should be asking is is where am I in my journey of life and I think that is very critical is not how do I do it, Juliet? It's where am I in my life? And once you begin to re-examine yourself, 
the deeper the deeper you the deeper sense of you and that is when you're able to project and you can project your um your life really and you're able to now write it down and um like now um, i'm going to be writing down my october my october and i'm going to be right i'm going to be ticking my september what i've achieved what i've enjoyed from june july august september i'm going to be doing that and i will be completing the tasks that i have not finished and sometimes it comes in into September and at the end of it you're saying, Oh my goodness, I've not tacked, I've not ticked this and I've not ticked that and I've not ticked that. And you're sort of like in a panic. No. Take a breather. You know, take a breather. And um, I do love um, watching um, uh, Sister Trust uh, video. She does some beautiful exercises um, of um, breathing exercises and um, meditation as well. And it's good to take those meditation. I do love um, meditating. My meditation, um, she loves her yoga. And uh, I think that's the future, uh, Sister Bricanio. Uh, I love my yoga as well, meditation. But my meditation, I love it at the seaside, as you can see. I do just love this kind of uh, rest. Um, yes, so I'm saying, re-examining yourself. Write it down write it down you might not accomplish it all but it's important that you put something down and it might it's taking the pen and um and sometimes you know um or just personally i never even used to write it it used to be in my head somewhere but then you get to find out that you've got it in your head and it's just there so when you start meeting so many people what tends to happen is and a typical journey i will just use myself as an example is you meet many people who are wanting as a community um, leader or community person depending on who you are let me put it like that uh, you meet different people at conference here I wear different um, hats for myself so some uh, depending on where I am I'm wearing different hats and I love to say that because it's absolutely important to understand which hat you're wearing at each given time it's critical for your success it's absolutely critical for your success and I cannot stress that enough in some places I will just be attending the event in some places you are given the role of your work in some places you're actually um, doing coaching as i do and um, depending what um, role you are you see i love even watching just little things like that oh, i've missed that one have i so i do love uh, I do love uh, just bringing it out to you and as you relax with me I hope you're picking something which is really really important but as we share uh, thank you so much for those who are commenting I can see all of you and thanks for bringing me um, to your world as well Jeff Gishau is also inviting people in Kenya um, he is doing um, an award ceremony and mainly bringing the Maasai community and you know Jeff was one of the people that um, supports um, promoting the Maasai community and um, he recently made headlines uh, in Kenya where he said that he wanted to marry um, uh, Obama's uh, daughter so you can imagine the whole story was captured in the whole of the papers and uh, tell us about that story or send a link about that story let people get to know you more um jeff um and thank you so much um for um sharing your beautiful story 
um, and how he brought out um, um, the, pres the former president of the um, United States. So such stories, it's humorous, you know, and you can't help but to smile. And whenever you see something nice, also be gracious and also bring it out and bring others up. It's absolutely critical for that. Yes, thank you so much for um, for, for joining in uh, here, Jeff. So, I'm trying to find that link, Jeff. I will send that link when I get it. But if you can find it as well, please post it for others to see. And I know that that story was picked up by Nation. So I do, I do follow. And Eugene as well does a lot of good work in uh, with, um, uh, especially for business startups. Uh, Eugene, I have been to his programs, and many many thanks for that, Eugene Niseyim um, Mana. So yeah, um, he does a lot of uh, encouragement for people, um, and especially business startups. Um, and he's absolutely, um, he brings some um, people together for, for that kind of stuff. And so yes, I'm still enjoying here. And um, yes, someone is saying, how often should you take a break? Wow. How often should you take a break? Somebody is asking me that question. How often should you take a break? And to me, it should be actually your body needs it you take a break you are the only person who knows and it's important you know for you to re-energize yourself um, quite often as well because it's only by re-energizing yourself that you're able to really give the best to the world as well you know um, you're only able to give the best to the world when you yourself is absolutely renewed so um to me that is absolutely important and you know one of the things i always tell people london is a busy place london is a very very busy or uk let me say uk is a very busy place you know everything goes with time time is really really important um for people here in UK you get paid by time you get paid by everything and sometimes one's got to really really begin to ask yourself time you know Beatrice and Jerry thank you I don't know if you're still in France but I welcome you I'm looking at the Fr France from where I am here but I'm in the English side I'm in the English channels over here um, yeah, so this thing called time is very, very important. And that is why it is, it is important mm -hmm. to set your goals. Because it's not easy to say this, but time, time waits for nobody. Time waits for some nobody. And sometimes people will always say to me, oh, you know, I'm waiting to leave. You know, I'm, I'm going to wait until I've saved so much money and whatever. So you start saving, and I'm not saying you shouldn't, but, you know, you, you don't leave. I actually like leaving. <laughs> I actually, uh, if there is something that I really enjoy doing, I actually love leaving. And that's just within me, in my soul, because I think it's important. But I think that I have managed to bring you life to wherever I am. And until then, set your goals, aim higher, as you always do. If you're looking for um, support, do give me a shout. My telephone number is plus four four seven seven four twenty three. I repeat. Plus four four seven seven four two three eight four zero five two. One more time. Zero seven seven four twenty three eighty four zero five two. That's my phone number. If you're looking to email me as well, you can email me at Juliet J U L L I E T 
at africanwonderwoman.com or ukad forum f o r u m at gmail.com also hashtag me at or hashtag me at jnm1000 i've also now got my jnm talk shows jnm1000 talk shows as i call them and wilson the great i love your energy i love your music i love watching you perform and thank you so much for the work that you do to promote heritage and culture right down here if uh, i know you meet so many people wilson if anybody is looking to find out their true sense of purpose refer them to me i'm always available i don't want i want people to be the best that they can be i want people to be the best that they can be and that is what i'm happy to support people with until then it's a goodbye from me right down here and that is the seaside over here enjoy yourself i have finished my breakfast and thank you so much for joining me happy saturday happy ending of um, september you've got um, a few days left to end write those lists and share them with me if you haven't written it down and if you'd like help give me a buzz and we can do it very quickly together you've got my telephone number is 077 423 84052 and i'm gonna be going for a run or no i don't want to run i will do a walk so i'm gonna be walking all the way from there and just taking that beautiful breeze all the way right down to the end so speak soon and happy saturday and thank you for joining me this morning right here in united kingdom bless you everyone and thank you so much steve and everybody who's joining who's joined in this morning bye bye for now